Groomer's Take. Welcome into the episode. Thank you for the feedback on the last episode. Uh, it was a heated one and still getting over it for sure, but let's carry on. Let's move on with this glorious summer and let's move on with a very hot team in the NHL. The Montreal Canadiens up 3-0. They can close it out tonight, back-to-back -to -back games. Um, let's give this team the respect they deserve. They've turned it on. The season wasn't great. The playoffs, they're just absolutely rolling. Carey Price looks like Carey Price. What he's meant to do for that contract. Leaf fans. Um, I think they're going to close it out tonight. I just think they're rolling. They remind me of... I always look back. I think back to teams that I can try and can compare them to. And, you know... There's probably others, but I always think of the 2006, I want to say, Edmonton Oilers when they made it to the final against the Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, the Fernando Pisani! Like, he just went on a heater, and then I don't think I ever saw him again. But I think this Montreal team's better than that. And they're rolling. They're playing, they're, they're playing excellent hockey. They're shutting down lines. Yes, Shifley's not there now, and now let's get into that a little bit, but... Before I talk about the Shifley hit itself, I just want to talk about how garbage it is that whether whoever it is, whatever fans it is, that contacted his family to spew whatever they spewed at them. Leave someone's family out. You're an idiot. You're a moron. The player did it. He's a big boy. You know, just, I just, I don't even know what else to say on that. It was, I didn't dive into much of it but I mean what the hell are we doing here uh, okay so the hit itself when I first saw it I was like oh my god Evans is dead he crushed him this is a six game suspension and then you look at it more and more and I was like okay maybe it's three but I was like no it's four or five it has to be in this NHL it has to be um, he didn't even think about the puck right he didn't care about the puck I don't want to hang on this for too long because it's already it's it's over. But he he was angry. It was the end of the game. I've been there before. We all all have been in sports, and you're just angry. Um, Evans is trying to close this game out, but you got to be aware that you might get absolutely run over on a wraparound. Uh, but yeah, you know, Shifley didn't care about the puck. He just wanted to smoke the guy, and he did. Uh, will it come back to really hurt the Jets? It looks like it already has because they're down three nothing, and this series could be over tonight. Uh, the Canadians, I could just, I could talk about them a lot. Um, they look really good. They are, they're going on all cylinders right now, and it's very, very impressive. Um, they're going to, you know, they're going to be in the final four. I do believe. Uh, Tampa Bay Lightning, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. I just, I watch it. Oh man, it's, I'm gonna go into the Leafs. I know I'm gonna go into the Leafs again. God, what do I do this? You watch these teams play, Carolina, Tampa, like both excellent teams, and then you, you see the plays they make, you watch their power play, you look how they break out of their own zone. If the first option doesn't work, they already have the next one in play, and they do it like a machine. And, I, and you sit there and you're like, the Leafs never do that. Why am I doing this to myself? Tampa Bay's really good. I think they're up 3-1 now, no? And yeah, yeah. I, how does Tampa Bay not go to the final again? I don't know. I mean, we'll see, but they're, they're a very good team. Vegas ties the series up. First of all, I thought Vegas played their best game in game two, and but now they've tied it up at 2-2. Two -two. Um, I don't know how they've been doing it. I, I, I kind of had the game on last night, but I was falling asleep. I will say this, there, I had Vegas beating Tampa Bay in the final. Um, that isn't, that wasn't looking good, but maybe I'm back on track. We'll see here with Vegas, but Colorado is an absolute beast as well. That series is awesome to watch. We'll see what happens going back to Colorado now, I believe. Um, I will say Colorado can stop losing me money in the last two games. Vegas with their odds up there, making me think, damn it. Anyways, great series. Um, and what a series. What a series between Boston and the New York Islanders right now. Uh, you know, the Spit and Chicklets Instagram, they're all over this one. Uh, it looks like a great time to be watching that series with those boys and that group of people. Um, I'm definitely tuning into that game. Oh, geez, I think it's on right now. Um, just a fantastic series. I mean, I don't think I don't think it matters who moves on like from this and whoever plays them. They're both quality, quality teams. I will say I did not see Boston being as good as they are from what I've seen, but they are just absolutely clicking right now. Okay, golf. Man, oh man. I played a lot of golf on the weekend, but you come home Saturday and you find 
John Rahm is at 18 under, a seven shot lead after three rounds. He was eight under on the back nine gets told that he did test positive for COVID-19 and he has to drop out of the tournament. You saw the video when he heard the news and he was just absolutely crushed. I hate that for him. My take on this is why the hell, I mean, I heard he had the option to get the second dose and he just hadn't yet, but I mean, I guess that's something that's your decision and it, it's backfired now, but I, I don't know any more detail. But why can't you let the guy just play by himself? Everyone has been saying this and I totally agree. Let him play by himself at seven in the morning. Let him carry his own bag. Give him one of those little pull carts or whatever. Throw it on there and let him go play. Uh, it's too bad. I guess rules are rules, but you know, John Rahm's gonna be around for a while. And, uh, you know, he'll be back. It was just tough to see because he was just absolutely dominating. Uh, in that tournament, Cantley, Patrick Cantley ended up beating Morikawa on a playoff. Uh, pretty cool. NBA, the Clippers. Damn it. The Clippers, wow. Uh, they hung around. I don't. I only watched a bit of the, the last game there. And they seemed in control. Like, everything was in the past. And they're here now. And they're vibing. Uh, damn it, I hate Kawhi. But I love Kawhi. Thank you for the championship up here in Toronto. Love it. Lakers, see you later. Uh, I guess Anthony Davis was much more needed than I thought because I thought they still could have pulled through. But the Suns are really good. Devin Booker, my goodness. Uh, superstar in the making. And uh, LeBron knows that as they did a little greeting in the back there. But hey, any team LeBron's on, you know it's going to be back. He's one of the best players in the world. Uh, yeah, Trey Young with the bow again. It's a while back because uh, Atlanta's already up one nothing against Philly. No Joel Embiid, or did he play? I don't know. Um, but I got to talk about the Trey Young bow to the New York fans. <laughs> Man, they're all over him, you know, and, and then they come out. The fans are standing up, clapping. They're, they're New York Knicks out of their season. You won one playoff game, even though you thought it would have been an NBA title the way they celebrated. Uh, they're all happy. <laughs> Trey Young drains a three and then turns and bows to the crowd. See you later, mic drop. Loved seeing that. Julio Jones, we're going to get out of here on this. Julio Jones, whoo! Again, I think this was Saturday news, traded to the Tennessee Titans on the cheap, a second, a fourth, and maybe some money or something like that. Uh, tons of firepower now for the Titans to go along with that nasty, stingy defense that they have. My only question now, will they be able to keep up with the KC Kansas City Chiefs trading blows back and forth. I hope so. I'd love to see it because that's going to be an unbelievable match to watch, even though not in the same division, but it's going to be cool. Uh, anytime a team in the NFL, I think, gets more and more firepower, especially on the offense, because as fans, we want to see it. I think it's very exciting. And if you're a fantasy dynasty owner and Kyle Pitts now in Atlanta, you're even more excited because Julio Jones is no longer a weapon there, no longer an option for Matt Ryan. I drafted Kyle Pitts. All right, I'm out of here. I got to go watch some hockey. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Groomer's take. Bye.